Yes, Anthony. Uh, what? Uh, what? What? I also watched a program over the weekend Ooh. on a spike, which um, is ridiculous. There's so many shows trying to pawn themselves off as real things that are just fake. One of which is that stupid repo show. Don't even. F- don't try to even tell it's me a that fake that's real. Repo show? It's fake. That Why? repo repo show is fake. I think they might take some real situations and put bad actors in them. And you can tell it's just, it's all fake. Is it dramatization? Yes, because <laughs> the cameras are there. No one's face is ever pixelated out. Uh. They're, they're acting too uh, uh, shocked. And then there's drama and there's always a, a confrontation. It's it's absolutely fucking fake. Hmm. I wonder. Absolutely I fake. wonder if they offer to pay the, their actors, or if they offer to pay the people's car off if they allow them to do Fuck it. Fuck no, because they're, they're not. They're they're actors. You could tell they're actors because they're 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 bad actors too. One of them actually uh, went Louis Bean. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. You read John. So that's for John. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that I, just sucks. Got, I just got such Dude, douche chills. A show that's. Uh, Repoing cars, man. That seems yeah, you like would it think would be, you, could, you know, if you put a little time into it. Why not? Uh, it's just kind of it a... Would, it would be pretty much cops. Yeah. Get the guy in the back seat with the cameras and then roll. Yeah, roll, roll and see what you come up with. But no, everything's <laughs> got to be this big... It's almost like they're trying to do a dog the bounty hunter with Repo. Mm. So they can't pull it off, so they, they fake it. And then this other show I was laughing at, and I, I couldn't turn it off, is uh, A Thousand Ways to Die. Great. And and it's it's like these are actual deaths that have taken place. And dude, it's urban legends. Oh really? They're fucking urban, but they're saying like these people actually died like this. Like and what? a couple you of got them, one? A couple of them I could see. A woman swallowed a tapeworm to lose weight. Oh shut and up. And that yeah, yeah. You deserve to die. It was but it didn't happen. Okay. The electrician that uh uh threw um a power cord into the lake to to get kill the fish, mm-hmm. and then he wound up touching the aluminum boat and getting electrocuted. They're just like all these like. What about the guy that uh, was on a ladder, fell off the ladder, and then fell kind of backwards until his ass uh, landed in the doorknob? Oh wow, yeah, that happened. My cousin knew that guy. Time. Yeah, 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 yes. There was another one where a guy, I guess he had put um, uh, a thing of he wanted something up his ass, oh. so all he could find was some pepper spray, <laughs> a pepper spray canister. <laughs> right. So he shoved it up his ass. Yeah, and then uh, well, you got it. I mean, he had some kind of altercation with police, and and when he hit the ground, it it went off inside of him. Yeah, okay. and they showed like the internal what would happen inside if pepper spray went into your. You think that would hurt and stuff? Yeah, because he was just writhing in pain on the ground, and they you didn't think know that what, would burn? what to do. Yeah, they just thought he was making a very, very bad <laughs> fart. <laughs> wow, cleared the room out. Uh, but it was, uh, yeah, they're fake. Look at this guy, Thousand Ways to Die rules. Why does Beth it rule? Death is paralyzing powder. There was another guy that worked at a, a, a company that um, he, he would wheel in these uh, pieces of furniture that needed the paint baked on them. You know, like metal mm-hmm. Thermite. furniture, things like that. Thermite paint. <laughs> <laughs> tool. Always, always funny. <laughs> and he um, he had uh, narcolepsy. So he would, went in there and fell asleep. And his buddy, and they show like the dramatization of it, just shut the door without looking inside. He just shuts this big giant door and turns the oven on and cooked his friend. Holy shit. And then another woman, that one right there that you see her face that Danny Screaming. put up. Yeah. She um, was uh, uh, she had a, an emergency as she was diving and had to come up pretty fast. So they put her in a decompression chamber so she wouldn't get the bends. So it takes a long time, you know, to decompress. And some worker at the place she was at opened up the decompression chamber and she exploded. It's like, first of all, you wouldn't explode. You'd get the bends. Where, you know, you get the nitrogen bubbles. It's almost like opening up a, a soda bottle in your blood. Mm. It starts bubbling in your blood. You get nitrogen bubbles. And uh, uh, you, you can die that way. But your, your head not, is not going to explode in the glass. Like right after that shot, they show her looking through a portal. And her head explodes. Is it, a, is it an actress reenacting, obviously? Yeah, yeah. It's all reenactments. Ah, I hate reenactments. Another one was two, which was kind of funny because all I could think of was Jimmy. <laughs> it was uh, Aussie fans. Two Aussie fans cool. waiting to go to OzFest. And they were like, these are the biggest Aussie fans ever. And, and there were these two douchey guys sitting at a picnic table just going, Ozzy, Ozzy, dude, look, Aussie burgers. Like, they were just douchey being Aussie fans. 
And then another guy goes, dude, look what I brought. And he brought ants. And it was like, dude, we could snort them like Ozzy did. Nice. So they snorted them, but they were fire ants. And they went inside their uh, uh, nasal cavities and, and uh, stung them. And they swelled up and suffocated Shut and died. Why couldn't they breathe through their mouth? That's what I was thinking until they said that their throat swelled up, too, because the ants went back there and stung their throat I, and actually that one, and died. I said shut the fuck up. It but didn't that one, happen. Oh, that did? No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. That they a, said it did, but I, I'm saying it didn't happen. Are they using actual names of people? No, 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 of course oh, not. So the names this, have been changed All right, so this shit the, didn't the happen, or maybe. Why protect them? Cause exactly. It's not protecting it. It's hard to look up these cases. Dude, find the Aussie one because it is so bad. Can we get clips from that for Jimmy? It's so bad how how phony into Aussie this uh, these these people are. Oh, because they were acting They're out? They're acting. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. They're just okay. acting. What is really the uh, paralyzing? Is that succinylcholine? That was a paralyzing thing. Uh, yeah. You take that and someone can feel everything and they, they're aware, but they can't And they're uh, aware. Move. Right. Hey. Another guy ate change. All the time, and because you have this uh, thing where you just eat like change, sure, and metal things, and his stomach ripped open, and yeah, um, right. he bled to death. Yeah. Well, uh, we got Andrew from Brooklyn. Uh, he wants in on this. Andrew, Andrew. um, yo, y'all guys go to SpikeTV.com. They got all videos from that from that TV show. Really? Yeah, they do. Where? Where? SpikeTV.com. Spike 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 I, I see it says play video. Yeah, we don't see any. Uh, I see them all. Uh, do you see it, Ann? I don't really. Go to Spike. Uh, yeah, oh, we no. don't see it, Andrew. See Can it, you help Andrew. us find it? Yeah, we're looking, Andrew. We're looking. Hold on a minute. SpikeTV.com. Um, we're looking for it. Uh, no, I don't Andrew, see it. Andrew, you know, you know when the space shuttle's coming back? Um, that has something to do with the topic. Like, I'm just trying, you know. Just telling you where it is. No, I know. I just do you know when the space shuttle's coming back from the uh, station? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday it's coming back. And which shuttle is it? And never. That's it. What? Which one is it? And never. That's it. Um, the what? And you know, the what? The Endeavor space shuttle. That's it. No. Um, probably <laughs> special <laughs> endeavor. He doesn't want to be. That I guy know, anymore. but uh, but I want him to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants to Look at be this. A <laughs> Point blank saying he's not falling for your crap. Anime. So why, Andrew, are you, <laughs> you're calling it to support Mayor Stu Rasmussen? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. why do you like the tranny mayor? That's really weird you'd call about that one. Um, I'm not talking about the tranny mayor. Mayor. Ma- Ma- the Can tranny you... mayor? No? Why? What Can do you want? Get, get the audio of a thousand ways to die. Yeah, we're looking, we're for, looking it. for it now. So hold on, we're yeah, we're, we're we looking can't for it. Find it Stu, you're saying Stu Rasmus is on is on that site? No, just I'm just saying that you know, videos from that show, Spike TV's website. You like the tranny mayor though? Do you believe he should be uh, in politics? Oh, good question. Like that, Andrew? Um, he's weird, and um, I wouldn't vote for him. For what, who? What about for governor? No, I want to vote for him. What about for what is he now? You y'all got it? What is he now? What is what is he now yeah. though? What position does he oh, have? Oh yeah, now? I yeah, forgot. What? Is is he governor? Yeah, he's just mayor. Oh, okay. All right, gotta write that. Down. Well, Andrew, I think we found it. So thank you, sir. We appreciate it. All right, see you. All right, Andrew from Bro- uh, Brooklyn, everyone. Bye, sweetie. Uh, let's go to Paul in Jersey. Paul. Yeah. Yo. Hey, Paul. I just want to let Ann know that that shitty Operation Repo show plays a little message before it starts saying that it's actors in is it traumatized a, situations. All right. Is it a message or is it a, a disclaimer that's in print that goes by it's real fast? Disclaimer in print. All uh, right. My, See, that's just it. No one reads a fucking disclaimer in print. And they say um, it's uh, 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 not reality. It's actuality. Uh, on the on the that's their that's their actuality. Whole, that's well, their whole um like slug line for the channel. You can thank lawyers for that one too. Oh, right. we yeah, can't my, really have like a show where you're re- repossessing repossessing cars. Someone yeah. could get hurt. Hey, and have you ever seen that big steroided dude on the show? Uh, he's actually got a website like trying to plug himself for other acting jobs and shit. Does he? Yeah, that's yep. that show's so fucking fake. I watched it one day and I'm like. All right, what's this about? And then I knew instantly. I'm like, this can't real. This isn't really but happening. Someone is saying the show is really good because it's it's funny because the acting's so bad. So yeah, the acting's wor- hard. So it's worth watching just because the acting's so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, the, the acting is really really bad. 
All right. Oh, oh Danny yeah, found it. Thank you, sir. Danny found it. Which one is this? The ants? That's the ants with the Ozzy thing. All right. I yeah. just like how into Ozzy, fake, fakely into Ozzy they are. Right. This will disgust Jimmy. <laughs> this next story is a warning to all who worship false gods. It can be extremely hazardous to your health. What, watching this? Taylor and Conrad's deity, Ozzy Osbourne. Oz, man. Ozzy. <laughs> to say they are Ozzy fans does a huge disservice to their complete obsession with the aging rocker. Oz! They live. Ozzy. They breathe. They eat. Their commitment oh to Ozzy <laughs> knows no bounds. I love Oz so much. I do Ozzy, oh. but not like in a gay way. You know, oh. it's like I would do him in a gay way. Yeah, that's cool. One, two, oh. Today's the big day. <laughs> all right, wait, pause oh. this. Sodas. Pause <laughs> it. Thank you, Jimmy. They're opening cokes. <laughs> they're they're, they're shaking of, up their fucking cokes. They're at a picnic. Setting the, a lame they, picnic setting. By, by the way, way, this is supposed to be like the um, tailgating or something. Tailgating what for Ozfest, and, and you know what? They pick I, like a someone's front yard. I am so in with this show because of this clip. Oh, I know. Believe me, I couldn't stop watching it. I thought it was just them in their backyard. This is supposed to be <laughs> no, at a this is supposed to be at a concert. <laughs> and these fucking homos. First of all, <laughs> they couldn't get the labeling, so neither one of them is wearing an Aussie shirt, no. and they couldn't get the right to Aussie music, so they're playing some <laughs> shitty generic metal band in the back. <laughs> yeah. Fucking assholes. And then, and then because you know they're getting ready for the Aussie concert, it's time. To drink some, drink something. Yeah, and they which, shake which up obviously soda. would be beers that you shake up yeah. and, and fuck around with. But no, in this case, it's uh, what Coke. It's Coke. They shake it up and they open and go Oz, Oz. Oz. What's wrong with you? Who does that? Nobody. That's why I was watching this. Going, this stinks. Their commitment to Ozzy knows Oz. no bounds. Dude, <laughs> and I was just thinking, oh Jimmy, <laughs> you unintentionally like this. just turned me on to a great show. Now you're gonna watch this because it's show. so ridiculously right, bad. And then the you can Ozzy. see where the actors. Are improv and they probably just talk and they try to be funny. I do them not in a gay way. They, that's the two guys yeah, improv trying improv to be funny. They're like, we'll leave that in. That was good. That was yeah. funny, yeah. All right. These guys are tools. <laughs> and Taylor has a special yeah, treat for his yeah, friend. Yeah, guess what it is. Guess what it is. I know, I know, right? Oz cream. Oh, yes. Rock and roll legend oh. has it that Ozzy and Nikki Six once snorted a line of ants to show just how hardcore they were. It's ants, man. Fire ants, man. The decision to snort ants from all the things you could enact from Ozzy Osbourne, this probably was not the best thing to go for to begin with. It would be almost a punishment if there wasn't any social Darwinism involved in it, if there wasn't some kind of a consequence involved. Oh, dude. Dude, Nicky Sting? Yeah, Nicky Sting on the Ozzy oh, Ant! Oh, oh, Taylor and Conrad right? want to be hardcore, Do you like too. this, Jimmy? A couple of lines <laughs> of fire ants should do the trick. Oh. Oh, no, I'm going to take one. I'm going to take one. Oh, oh. 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 Dude, dude. As soon as you snort up fire ants into your nose, the first thing you do is bite. Ow. And immediately on point biting, they sting. They'll inject as much venom as they can. They're very, very pissed off. And rightly so. God, what is that? <laughs> that will cause intense pain. It's the head banging, lots of drooling, lots of screaming, wrenching of the eyes, trying to clear the nose out. And you're gonna have very long things to get the ants out of your nose. It's just not gonna happen. Then the swelling starts. That'll start closing up the nose. You can't breathe. The trachea starts to close up. Suffocation follows. <laughs> now they show them just writhing in pain. They're on the ground. And the ants are still in the tub and not crawling dead. out. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiot ants. And now they're dead. Stupid bastards. <laughs> A couple hundred fire ants won't necessarily kill you. But if you inhale them into your nasal cavity and down your throat, you can't breathe, you die. A couple of big jerks. Oz holes. <laughs> Oz holes? Stay. Oz oh. holes. Well, all, the, the only reason I kept watching, see it says, watch what it says, Oz, Oz hold. hold. Now, after every single one, they put a little thing that had to do with how they died. Mm. So the whole thing of me watching this was trying to guess what they were going to name the, the little I, segment. Like that was – one was butt plugged. Yeah. And that was the guy that shoved the fucking shit up his – the, um, the uh, what the pepper fuck? spray yeah, up right, his right, ass. Right, 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 right. 
You know what? I'm surprised they didn't uh, call us to uh, host this show. I know. <laughs> this is Doesn't this sound like us? something they Yuck. would give us? <laughs> yeah. Die it. Yeah, die it was the one with the woman with the um oh, with man. the tapeworm. I want to play the Aussie fan. Oz, Oz-, Oz- Burgers. What What's the fuck Oz- is that? I don't know. No one talks like that. No, they were so yes, they do, Jimmy. When you're that into Ozzy, so you're just not as into Ozzy as as you think you are, but I am. or you want other people to think you are. They were true Ozzy fans. Um, Oz, and then you shake your soda. Let's go to Pete and Bayshore. Oh. Pete. Oh, try to find the one on there about the guy who was tripping out on acid in the desert. He wanders onto a bunch of people having sex dressed up as animals. And uh, he sees one girl, jumps on her, turns out to be a real bear, eats him. <laughs> See, oh, they're all urban, <laughs> le- and they the say, these here. deaths are all <laughs> real. Laugh my ass they say they're all Get real. The it's like, fuck out of it's here. so phony. They're all urban <laughs> legends. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> Jesus. It really is stupid, man. You watch it. I got to watch now. I was watching and I'm texting. You, I think they're doing it tongue in cheek, obviously, right? Uh, well, they, the, the, yeah, I mean, looking at that, is, it's very tongue in cheek. I think the way they, they do I, it. I think they got together like, all right, all these urban legends. We could, we could probably make a show out of this somehow. But they're trying to present it like it's real, like like almost faces of death. Because then the last one of the day, de- I've noticed this: the last one of each show is an actual thing where they show video of like they show that plane crashing. Um, after the hijackers made the plane run out of gas. Oh, in the ocean, uh, yeah. Yeah, in the ocean. They showed that and talked to one of the survivors of that crash. So, like, it'll end with something real, right. which maybe that's how they get away with saying these deaths are real. Right. Not all of them. <laughs> Only the last one. I know you brought... <laughs> Ozzy fans hijacked a plane. <laughs> Fly us to Ozzy! Fly Oz plane <laughs> yeah the ozone layer <laughs> i know you brought this to the show so we could beat it up but i think I'm, i oh, think i might become a fan it. of the Dude, show i wasn't saying it's not entertaining to watch right. i was saying it's just bullshit it's so ridiculous i call bullshit when they got all excited about the big ozzy concert and they shook up their coats ah! And they put the and they shook the coke up and all the foam and all, all over each other. Couldn't they like make it look sort of like a beer? Uh, that would. Like, why not terrible. just have a beer? Oh my god! Well, because they crazy. seem to be. Un- they might have been underage. I don't know. Yeah, that, but they could show them dying. That yeah. was a terrible show. I was texting during that show, and uh, the text I was getting back was, "Why are you watching it then?" I'm like, I can't change the channel. Oh, yeah, we talk about that on the I show. I can't all the time. stop watching this. I, I watch shit just to be completely pissed off. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Rich in New Hampshire. Rich. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. What's up, little Jimmy? Right. Uh, I'm just going to, the, the, one of the best shows on that repo show was, uh, they go to, um, take this DeLorean from this kid, and he breaks out into, like, a Michael Jackson dance. It's the most staged thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's all fake. Somebody sent me that video, and that's what got me on, on, um, trying to read the disclaimer and finding out it's fake, is because somebody goes, and eh, check this out, it's funny. And, yeah, and gotta, it's a video of a guy uh, that's getting his DeLorean repoed, and um, he starts moonwalking and stuff. Yeah, and he punches one of the guys, and they all get freaked out. Oh, they always there's always punching and throwing yeah. things, and then the big repo guys have to jump in, and 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 there's a lot of bad mouthing, and it's all fake. Yeah, if you guys can watch that, it's it's hilarious. I think you guys would like it. Uh, all right, I'm punching out there. See you later. Thank you, sir. Uh, is this one true, Ant? Jamie in uh, London, Ontario. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, boys? Hey. Wait, wait, is London, Ontario just over the border in Buffalo? Uh, just over the border by Fort Huron, Sarnia. Yeah, that's where all the strip clubs are, right? Yeah, lots of strip clubs, yeah. Oh. With they the Asians all... taking it all off. They can take it all off. It's great. All right, sir. I, it, I just brought back a memory when I saw London, Ontario. I think I had to do gigs there and then drive back into the States drunk. All right. When I was yeah. doing radio yeah. in Buffalo, for real, it was the most nerve-wracking thing ever. Yeah, U.S. Got some boys there. Uh, they can be pretty scary. Actually, I used to cross the, the border I, to Detroit. I think I told night. the story. I was coming back from a gig. I had to spin records at a horrendous bar somewhere in uh, London, Ontario, and then uh, they they had the uh, the stop on the way back into in, into the country after you get over the border. And I blew what, whatever the legal limit was. I, I missed it by I was under by three border patrolmen. <laughs> <laughs> I was I missed it by point one or whatever whatever it would be by just yeah. one. And the guy goes, "This is your night. You are so lucky." And I went, mm. "Holy shit!" And I kind of learned a lesson that day. Yeah, kind of learned that that could have been a biggie. 
Uh, what Those do you got? customs guys are hardcore. No hey, shit. I was, uh, a buddy of mine was telling me this morning, I didn't see it, but he was watching that show last night, and apparently a girl takes a carrot and cleans it up, shaves it off or whatever, and uses it to get off on herself and does all kinds of internal damage, cuts herself up and, and bleeds out or bleeds to death or something to that effect. You might want to look into it. I With a carrot. Was that really on Spike TV? That's pretty risque. Yeah. He was telling me it was on that thousand and one ways to die. I didn't see it, but that's what right. he was just telling me this morning about it. Actually, let's let's break this down a little bit. You're a girl. You want to get off with a carrot, right? Mm. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you cut off the the tip of those goddamn things? Yeah, you round it you off. Know. Round it off. Chop. You know, just chop the tip off. Look how fake this is. You this know guy what I did said? a Michael Jackson Why dance and kicked one of the guys. Do... Sorry. Oh, okay. No, this... no. What? Why wouldn't you just use a cucumber? Wouldn't that be a lot easier? Yeah. I, just, I just got the douche chills because we're doing two things right now. You're talking about the carrot with the, uh, the thousand ways to die, and then we found the the video of the guy moonwalking or doing Michael Jackson moves when his car is being repossessed at DeLorean, and I, it's ridiculous how how stupid this looks. Yeah, look, he's he starts dancing, and as he's doing Michael Jackson dance, he kicks one of the guys. This is good. Yeah, this yeah. is so real. Ugh. All right, boys. All right, that, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, have a good day. All right. I kicked him in the ass. Yeah. Uh, it's so it's just fake. Terrible. All right. This Wow. A lot of people are watching this show, Ant. Uh, I know. Chris in Houston. Chris. Good evening. Hey, hey. hey Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Funny every time. I know. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Uh, yeah. Oh, one, of the, one of the deaths that I thought was hilarious, uh, it's like a guy was a raging alcoholic, had like throat surgery done, He so he couldn't drink. So he gets it. He's sitting there. The, the scene plays out. He's sitting there holding a, a warm bottle uh, enema bag with a, a bottle of sherry, asking his wife to fill up the bag, shove the enema up his ass, and get him drunk that way. Well, because the alcohol can't go through the liver, he dies of alcohol poisoning. Ah, hmm. see? There was a, uh, one with, with drinking um, last night, a biker. This biker guy, just some biker, uh, robbed some vague place. Like, it's all very vague. Sure. And uh, he was... <laughs> He was celebrating. <laughs> Good evening. He was celebrating uh, by drinking some whiskey uh, by a campfire in the woods as he was on the lamb, you know? Yeah. And uh, he got all mad because he dropped his, his whiskey and it broke. So he's like, oh, and he can't go into town because, you know, they're looking for him. So he decided, you know, why not drink a little gasoline? That'll, that should give me a buzz. So he siphoned some gas out of his motorcycle gas tank. Uh, added some Red Bull to it or something, and started drinking it. And now the, the the science comes in where they interview some person that tells what happens if you drink gasoline, that type of alcohol, which isn't the same alcohol that's in uh, booze. Uh, so he doubles over in pain and starts vomiting. But now he's vomiting, and he's got the campfire in front of him. So he vomits in front Get of him in his fire. The, the, it, the, the, the fire now goes back into the vomit. It's all over him, and he catches on fire and burns to death. From drinking gasoline and vomiting in the campfire. I heard about that guy. He was a oh, biker yeah, yeah. and he robbed the thing. Yeah, fuck. Jimmy knows. Bang off. How about that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> movies and television, like they try to show gasoline as like it's so super combustive uh, that you yeah, could yeah. just, you, if, don't even get a spark near gasoline or else shit's going to explode. I've watched enough Mythbusters like where you can't, they, they tried throwing a lit cigarette into a puddle of gasoline and it, it doesn't just, work. It does not happen like that. Yeah. It doesn't work. It has to, the air mixture has to be just right. It has to be kind of atomized almost for it to yeah. happen. There's no way you're vomiting gasoline into we a fire. We all get paranoid when we're pumping gas though. <laughs> Dude, no, I'm, not taking any, I'm not taking any chances. Super any heated, uh, atomized, yeah. Yeah. Or direct flame. And that's, uh, which is, you know, super huge. And is this true? Oh, uh, Bill on Long Island. Oh, Repo lets camera guy get in car they were towing and it flipped over. See? Ugh. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Diane uh, talking about the carrot thing. Uh, Diane in Cleveland. Hi. 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 I'm completely obsessed with this show. Uh, <laughs> the guy that called in about the carrot, yeah. I guess she didn't shave it good enough. And, like, it tore the vaginal wall or something. How did it? And it got air into her vein and got to her heart. Embolism, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's what they said. That's no. so stupid. I, I've never heard of a masturbation with a carrot fatality like that. Stop. Like, if a girl can't stick a carrot in her. I know. I mean, yeah, really. And, and then I like the one where the guy, he was. they were wood chipping. 
<laughs> and he uh, he got the thing stuck, so he decided to climb on it and kick it through, and it <laughs> yeah. stuck to his leg. <laughs> well, that one probably happens. Uh, That's the first one I believe could happen. Yeah, I, I mean, believe like something like that happens sure. because people are stupid with with machinery. But you know, the narrator said if if he's this stupid to try it, maybe deserve to die. Yeah, the narrator really doesn't give a shit about any of these people. He just makes yeah. jokes about them. Yeah, that, that's that's probably, probably why people are watching. That's the, the gimmick. F- phones are unbelievable right now. That's the gimmick. People is, are watching this show, Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that last night. It was just like, Now oh I'm mad God. they didn't ask us to host this, <laughs> this hit show for Spike it's, TV. No, it's, it wasn't Mythbusters Ugh. meets fucking Jackass. Although it is kind of like Mythbusters meets Jackass because they have the Jackass people doing stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they have the Myth, Mythbuster angle where they have the people w- that tell you the science as to how they died. Right. So, well, yeah, why the fuck did, weren't we asked? And did they ever make Mythbusters meets Jackass, the project they wanted us to host uh, there so are badly? a couple of shows like this. Are they doing well? It's, well, it... Ah, oh, shit. I can't remember. There's man, another one called Catch, we, uh, we, catch It or... We turned down this catch show... Catch Keep It. Catch It, Keep yeah. It. And how long did we... For, for real, two to two and a half years they were courting us to yeah. do this uh, dumb TV years show. Years ago. Did anyone end, end up doing it? There it was, was ahead show. of uh, our time. But I wonder if it's the same production company that was trying to get us. I doubt it. It's, I'll try to find the name of the show. It's not on anymore, but I think they were using Mythbusters as a lead into it, and that's exactly yeah. what the show was. I can't remember what it was called now. It's not around anymore? Nah, I think yeah, they, it was see, like one, one season and see, done. We knew. It was one and done. we knew how right. ridiculous Oof. this thing was. Because yeah. then we started thinking, I'll find it. the lawyers are going to get involved, so even if this show has a chance, they're going to shut down yeah, half, the, half the ideas we would want to exactly, do. Exactly. Exactly. And then we're we're left doing well, lame they, shit. Look what they let them do at Mythbusters, though. They give them pretty leeway. Don't forget the lawyers there probably aren't the same it's as Because it's all science. And they, they actually talk, though, about what they have to go through um, sure. certain times. When they, when they blew up that fucking cement truck, was pro- probably was one of the best explosions oh, I've yeah. ever seen on Mythbusters. I saw that one. They were trying to show how they could get uh, one of the one of the myths was that somebody threw a stick of dynamite in a cement mixer to get the dried cement off the inside because somebody fucked up and left it in there without it spinning. So they threw a stick of dynamite in and they realized that can't happen. But they wanted to know, you know, then they always take it one step further and go, let's just fill this fucking thing with dynamite. But they get to make good TV. FBI gets involved. ATF gets involved. Like like they, they have government agencies that get involved with this. Uh, they don't just go out on their own and get right. some fucking dynamite and blow the fucking thing up. And it helps that they're scientists. But you it, know. it blew up this uh, a cement mixer oh, yeah. to where there were just pieces, little pieces of metal left. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, Dan, you st- still one. watch uh, Mythbusters? Sure. Every, 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 I every used to love that season. show, and then I s- kind of started tapping out. Are they running out of ideas? Or? I don't think so. I mean, They no, kind of they... changed the premise of it a little because it used to just be urban legends. And myths like that. So they kind of did this thing like now now they'll do stuff where uh, they'll try out things that work in movies and well, movie see myths. if it really works. Movie myths. I mean, those are still good episodes, but too. It's kind of not really a myth. It's I'm, kind of a a movie, so they over-dramatize certain things. Yeah, I, it still have, falls into the category, but it's not like an urban legend. Have they done, like, cartoon shit? All that ridiculous stuff they did in cartoons? <laughs> they have actually. I remember one that I just saw recently was they wanted to see if you could. I mean, obviously, you know the the old finger in the shotgun trick. Yeah, you know, see if you could yeah, plug up the barrel. Funny. But I mean, obviously, they knew it was going to do significant damage to a finger. But could you actually get the barrel of a gun to peel back like banana style? <laughs> yeah, you okay. know, and then that becomes the that becomes the myth. They for the did show. get a and, split you know, in one of the barrels. It's still they interesting did get a to split. see. You know the, the and, the, and they. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The ways that you know that that they go about achieving those results, right. and they're That's just really f- funny guys. To they're so odd together that it's pretty funny. I like when they come in. We haven't had yeah. them on in God probably yeah, a year now. And, 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 that, and that stupid Mike Rowe, who's a who's a friend of the show. Where have you been, Mike? He's everywhere. With apparently. these national TV commercials, commercials you forgot for about everything. your pals Opie and Anthony. He's voicing everything. He's yeah. Maybe we should treat him nicer next time he's in here. Yeah, we, I know. we usually beat him up. I have to go. Oh, what you Jimmy? Leave. What? I've been holding for what? 25 minutes. I have oh, to pee. All right. I'll see you soon. Ladder. Yeah, I can't wait. I haven't gone You're yet. wearing an Aussie shirt. Oh, piss for Aussie. Are you going to the Oz room? We're taking an Aussie piss. Yeah, I gotta go take a posse. <laughs> <laughs> Work duty in there somehow. Yeah. I, was, I was trying. I didn't have one. Smoke Oz. your own piss. Ozzy yeah. would do it. Yeah. yeah, get my water. Extreme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin in Wyoming. Justin. Uh, <laughs> Justin. Wyoming? Justin. Happy birthday, Jimmy. He yeah, just, just went to take a piss, you dummy. Everyone knows he laughs. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you want? Justin, 
Tell me one yeah. thing. Hold on. Before you get into what you want to say, tell me one thing about Wyoming that the average person wouldn't know. Uh, we all don't fuck sheep. All right. There you go. Why are you calling the show today? Dead. Hey, uh, did you guys hear about the one where the girl was out fishing? She uh, snagged a fish, came back, and got it in her throat. She suffocated out of the whole deal. The fish went into her throat? How did that happen? I just caught it, and I guess her mouth was open. Oh, she pulled it in the boat, and it it got her? It just went in her throat, I guess. All right. Good good description. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, we can could, we could move back to the subject. It's like that's day. a guy that can't tell a story, though. It happens. Like, tell, how did it happen? So she's reeling in a fish, and it jumps, and it goes in her mouth, and they show, like, how it, like, some details. 